Hello, I'm Samantha from Twinkle and this week we are doing our investigators week in the park. So I've got my lab coat on. Now, before we get started, we're going to do a little game and you have got to decide if you think the cuddly toy going down the slide is going to be faster or slower than the previous one. Welcome to Faster or Slower. First up, we've got Rory the Lion. So Rory, down he goes, doing a roll technique and he was quite fast, 1.06 seconds. Will Sharky the Shark beat him? Will they be faster or slower? Right, here goes Sharky, head down, straight down, and look pretty fast. It was 1.010, he was slower. What about Little Monkey? Do you think he'll be faster or slower than Sharky? Ready, Little Monkey? Oh, he's doing for a head dive, and it is faster, 1.05 seconds. What about Donkey the Lizard? Here comes Donkey, ready to go. Oh, he's got a nice head bop going down first. He was slower, the slowest one yet, 1.30 seconds. What about Gingerbread Man? Do we think he will be faster or slower than Donkey? Whoa, he has whizzed down. Do we think it's faster? 0 0.9 seconds, the fastest one yet. And what about Purple Monkey? Faster or slower? Head down. Is he going to be faster or slower? It was slower, 1.08 seconds. That was some brilliant guessing you did there. And that's a really good skill when you're being a scientist and doing investigations because you have to make a hypothesis or a guess as to what you think is going to happen. Let's have a look at some other fun activities you might like to do for some investigating in the park. are some brilliant investigations for you to try out in the park and don't forget to download our park life pack which has got even more investigations you might like to try out for an extra experiment that's really easy to try out all you need is a slide and a balloon and what you want to do just like we did earlier timing things going down the slide is slide your balloon down the slide and you can see how long it takes. Okay, it wasn't that fast because the balloon's quite light. But now look what happens after you've rubbed the balloon on the slide for a little while. Okay, my balloon is barely even rolling down the slide. <laughs> Wow, that was really slow. So it is so much slower after you've rubbed the balloon. And the reason behind this is static electricity. When you rub the balloon on the slide, you're actually rubbing electrons from the slide onto the balloon. That makes the balloon negatively charged and the slide positively charged. These two attract to each other, which is what slows the balloon down as it's coming down because it's attracted to the surface on the slide. However, eventually gravity wins out and so the balloon has made it all the way down the slide. This is also why sometimes you might get an electric shock Ow! when you get off the slide or you touch somebody on a slide because they have gained electrons and so they are negatively charged and all those electrons want to escape somewhere, which is why when you touch them, you get a shock. This is a brilliant experiment for you to try at home. You could try and do it on different slides, in different weathers, or even with different balloons. We've had so much fun doing our parachute testing and our balloon static testing as well. I'm going to tie our little parachute man onto our journey stick as a reminder for all the fun we got up to there. And while I'm doing that, you can listen to Chrissy and a beautiful poem. This week's poem is called Rainy Day because although it's often really lovely and sunny in the summer, sometimes it rains. Rainy day. I love it when it rains outside. Some people think it's boring, but I think it's beautiful when raindrops begin pouring. While some folks might just stay inside, I go and fetch my boots and I run outside with all my friends dressed up in puddle suits. The water that falls from above runs kettles, farms and showers. We need the water from the rain to help us grow our flowers. The rain fills all the rivers so the taps are never dry. So don't be sad about the rain. 
when you look to the sky.